Um, I'll not do a presentation. I'll just have some talking notes which I'll talk to. Uh, allow me to ride on the already established protocols. Good afternoon. Yeah, it was morning when I was writing this, so I was supposed to present in the morning, but I was held up somewhere else. So it's a uh, good afternoon. So I stand here at a crucial moment in our nation's history, a time when the digital revolution is shaping every aspect of our lives, from education to healthcare, commerce to governance. Technology is transforming the way we interact, communicate, and conduct our affairs, making our living more comfortable. Do you agree with that? Is our living more comfortable with technology? What happens when you lose your phone? <laughs> okay. As we embrace this digital dawn, we must also confront the challenges it presents to the world and also to us as a nation. Cyber threats, data breaches, digital divide, and misuse of technology can undermine our nation's progress jeopardize our national security, it is therefore imperative that we build a digital Kenya that is safe, secure, inclusive, and trusted. My CS just alluded to it when she was doing her speech, and she said we need to leave a digital space for our children that is safe for them to use, and uh, getting the right content, okay? The future of industrial revolution has been accompanied by a new domain of warfare, the fifth domain, cyber. Cybersecurity is the cornerstone of a digital nation. Cyber attacks are known to cripple infrastructure, disrupt essential services, compromise our national security, and we must invest in robust cybersecurity infrastructure, educate our citizens about online activity, and collaborate with international partners to combat cyber threats. This clearly tells us no single person, no single entity can ensure cybersecurity for everyone. We have to work as a team private, public sector, and also the international organizations, and revolve one another. And as you know, what we say in IT security, you are strong as your weakest point. Doesn't matter what technology you put at your critical centers. If one side of the government isn't enlightened, if one side of the society isn't enlightened, the mama mboga doesn't know how to use her phone in a hygienic man, a manner, that is the strongest you get in cybersecurity. So all those Ferraris in cybersecurity, all those uh, big devices and expensive technology you have is as weak and is as strong, sorry, as that Mamamboga, who you haven't trained, who you haven't given any uh, knowledge on cyber hygiene. So we need to bring everybody in you can't leave one side and expect to be secure. Inclusivity is essential for a just and equitable society. Digital technology should be accessible to all Kenyans, regardless of their location, income, or ability. There is a need to bridge the digital divide by expanding internet connectivity, providing digital literacy training, and ensuring digital services are inclusive and accessible to people with disabilities. And this is one of the things in the plan, the beta uh, agenda, where we are very, the government is very aggressive. We are saying we are getting a, an additional 100,000 kilometers of fiber, 52,000 kilometers to be done by government and 48,000 to be done by the private sector you of us, you who are here with us. Secondly, 
We are doing 1,450 digital hubs. Yes, the government is taking the first step. But another thing we are doing is to encourage the private sector to adapt these digital centers. And we know very well, as government, we won't be able to run them and make them work if we stay in them alone. And our part is first to start the process so that the private sector can take up and adopt these digital, digital hubs. Um, the other thing is doing 25,000 Wi-Fi spots across the country just to bring connectivity nearer to the people. And that's the aim of government. And again, I'm sure as we progress with that, the, the private sector will also be able to adapt and take over this. Because if we say we run it as government, it's not our business. Our, our business is to initiate, encourage, and support, and provide the right policies so that these things can be sustainable. Trust is the foundation of a healthy digital ecosystem. We must build a digital environment where citizens can trust that their personal data will be protected where online transactions are secure, and where digital platforms and transpa are transparent and accountable. This requires strong data protection laws, ethical artificial intelligence development, and responsible digital governance. A safe, secure, and inclu secure inclusive, and trusted digital future for Kenya requires a concerted effort for all stakeholders in every corner of the world. The government should invest in digital infrastructure. And as I've told you, we, our government is trying to do that and we, we, we are committed to getting those kilometers by the end of, uh, by, by 2027. Develop comprehensive digital policies, which you're working on, and promote digital innovation. The private sector on its part must prioritize cybersecurity, data privacy, and ethical AI development. And the civil society organization need to advocate for digital inclusion and hold digital service providers accountable. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, let us commit to build a digital Kenya that is a beacon of hope for the continent a Kenya where technology empowers our citizen, protects our society, our, our security, and promotes social ju justice. A Kenya where digital revolution is a force for good, benefit, benefiting all generations to come. Thank you and God bless.